All right. Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, it's time for your studio update. Yes, that's right. I'm not holding the camera in front of me like some kind of Facebook groupie, whatever that is. So I've got Robbie doing the studio update today, and I hope you enjoy his mellow brand of delivery. And I will see you guys at the end. So we're down here in the pods. We got cool org stuff. Mason, what's all this uh, org stuff doing here? This is all my stuff. And finally, this is the remnants of everything that was in Washington. I'm so happy. I love my dad for this. This is my birthday present. He sent me all my stuff that was remaining over there. But uh, yeah, I'll just kind of go over the gist of everything. Everybody sees the big one. <laughs> it is a battle wagon slash skull hammer. As you can see, it was a Bane blade with a battle wagon kit on top. It was several hundred dollars to build this thing, but I got inspired by Mike D like way long ago actually when he was, no, it was Mike D or Mike D? One of them did like a, a giant battle wagon thing. I think it was Mike D actually. But anyways, he did like the soup can for the Def Rolla and I was just like, oh, that's awesome. So I just kind of went to town doing my own little thing on it. There's all kinds of little tidbits hiding in this thing. Like uh, I think one of my favorite parts is the, <laughs> the grot with the, the las gun just sitting on an ammo crate. <laughs> Then there's grot snipers that are up here where the gun turrets used to be. <laughs> and it's actually, this is the one that my big mech usually rides in, so I actually made like a giant force field generator for it, because everybody knows that's one of the best, better ways to run orcs is with the giant force field thing. Um, yeah, awesome. doo -doo -doo, that's pretty much that guy. Well, this one, a Land Raider on top of some dollar store trucks. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. Um, these are my custom... Uh, Mega knobs, actually made from the plastic kits of knobs, and then I actually did plastic card around a bunch of them. I'll show you. Let's see my. This one's one of my favorites. He's got tons of DACA going on. They're kind of still. They still need to be painted up a little bit. You can see there's some white spots. I'm still hitting, but you know, just little things. Probably won't be able to tell really what this is on the video, but this is my custom Big Mech with a shock attack gun. And he broke getting shipped over here a little bit, so I'm having to rebuild him a little bit. But as the part here actually broke off, so I'll have to redo that. But, you know, get the gist of it. It's good stuff. Uh, some more Mega Knobs. I have two squads on One's red and then one's blue. This is actually the very first one I did of this. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun stuff. Uh, I think the most thing I'm most proud of in this army actually is my commandos, though. This is my own custom snicker art model that I did. Just tons of bits that went into that. Lots of fun. And then the commandos themselves, actually, they all have little extra bits and stuff just to make them look a little more uh, kitted out than your average work boy, I would say. Yeah, you can see all these guys up here. This is the commandos kits right here. But then everything else is pretty much stock as far as orcs and stuff go, but it's coming along slowly but surely. Like everybody knows and appreciates orcs, how long it takes. And you can never have enough, so I keep accumulating more and more and more. <laughs> right on, guys. All right. All right, Jordan, what are you working on today? Uh, I got a few projects going on here. I got some Eldar that I'm working on. They're all uh, nice and fully magnetized. There we go, on that side. And then we've got some um, Necrons that we're magnetizing up, so they can be Praetorians or Lich Guard. So, it's pretty interesting stuff. Awesome. Oh yeah, this is worth bragging about. <laughs> Look how slick these, uh... Check this out! Bam! Look how smooth the skin tone is with like that sort of bone. It's kind of really nice. it's kind of like a more... That's more of a traditional look for them, right? With the blue skin. And I'm so. going to say that this is probably Ben's forte, is these so. gnarly beasts and more organic stuff, because, I mean, look at that. I don't think anyone in the world can do something like that so quick. Can't. It's a Ben original. <laughs> <laughs> we call that the Uncle Ben five-minute never... Or what are they called? In your face. <laughs> in your face. <laughs> hey, Zanna. What are you up to? With level 7 models, a Terminator for Darkwing, and a Free Blade. Um, I forget what he was called. This guy. Uh, 
Grular Warlock. Yeah. Awesome. Those are our first level 7s, aren't they? Uh, in the pod, yes. I've done a lot of other level 7s, though. Alright, the training pod. What are you guys up to? I need one more. Oh, we're working on some Chaos Space Wolves. Yeah. Chaos Space Wolves. So, who, it is a studio army, and it will be for sale. Whoever would like to purchase it can use it as Space Wolves, as Chaos, or Basic Marines. But either way, we're trying to solidify the look that you can feel comfortable playing it however you like. Blue Table Painting, this is Tara. How can I help you? Hey, Tara. What Hi. do you got going on today? Well, I have lots of boxes that I've packed today. But we can't ship them out today, they have to wait till tomorrow because of the holiday, but be looking for your projects in trade stock stuff because it's probably here if you've sent approval. So yeah. Hey Blue Table fans, this is Robbie in trade stock. Um, I got something really awesome to show you today. We have this Tau army that we've had, we've had it for about a couple months now, um, but it's really, really nice. It's kind of this blue, the dark blue color with this bright orange highlights on it, and I really like how it looks. We've got a commander with this bodyguard, a whole bunch, whole bunch of stealth troop or stealth suits, recruit. Got marker drones, a sniper drones, a broadside battle suit. Got one Devilfish Transport and another one over here. Two Hammerhead Gunships. Uh, we've got three Battle Suits and two more. And some Fire Warriors. So this is up on the web store right now. It is lot 829. So go check it out at freewebstore.org backslash blue table painting. Hey, awesome, hey, blue table fans. Okay, so what's going on with Valhalla is that we have one, only one room left, even though we expanded to the, to two cabins next door to each other and you know, enlarge the event, there's only one left. So it's 1250, that includes everything, up to two people uh, in that room. It's a queen size bed and um, so it's all the gaming, all the food, all the, everything that we've got going on, on-site amenities and the whole bit. And we'll pick you up at the airport. So uh, you can come out with two people. I can't fit an extra bed in there, so it's a share the bed kind of situation. But, uh, you know, that's great. There's one left as far as the full room is concerned. Secondly, we have two bunk drop pods. We did those at a discounted rate, so they're only $650. So instead of the $750 drop pod, you can do them for $650 and be in a bunk. And we've got only two left. So there are basically three tickets left for the entire season for Valhalla. October's going to be awesome. We have some great people coming out. We've got Worthy Painting from England coming out. We have a um, couple of awesome guys, Matt and Dave from Mini Wargaming coming out. We have Mantic Games. We have a couple of guys coming out from Mantic Games. So there'll be some really cool people there uh, for you to meet and to rub shoulders with and have a chance to game with. So that'll be really cool. In addition, we will probably do one to two event passes. And those are only $350. That means you get yourself from the airport, you find your own hotel. Well, we're willing to give you some ideas and options and stuff like that that are close. But you cover all of that yourself and it's just a pass to come all day every day and it covers your food. So it's really an awesome deal. And uh, you gotta let me know right away before I close this up and we're done. So definitely get in touch with us. We'd love to have you out. It's in October, there's still time. You have like a whole month and a little bit more to get all your stuff figured out. So. Come to Valhalla. So, folks, didn't Robbie do such a good job? It makes me happy. It makes me happy. He's smiling right now. He's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm so awesome. And so let me know if you have any input about our YouTube channel at all. I'm ready. I'm ready to hear it. I want to know what you want. And as always, we're improving day by day, and I hope that you had an excellent Labor Day. What what a delight it is to be here uh, with you guys. So thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's much appreciated.